Greg Tepper of Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here in the Built with Chocolate Milk Coaches Lounge at the THSEA Coaching School and Convention here with the head coach of the Texas A&M Commerce Lions. It is our pal, David Bailiff. Coach, it is great to see you. We haven't talked with you since you took the gig at, at Commerce, but I got to tell you, you know, we were, we were concerned when uh, Commerce lost Colby Carthel because we were awful fond of Colby Carthel. He goes to Stephen F. Austin. That job opens up. We were like, oh, no. Boy, I hope they hire somebody we like. And they hired you. Good. So I hope everything, you like me. <laughs> every, <laughs> everything works out great. Yeah. How, has, how has the transition to, to Commerce been? You know, it's it's been it's been really smooth. Our athletic director Tim McMurray's just amazing guy, and our president Mark Rudin, uh, he's been there a little longer than me. He's from Boise State, and you know he wants to win, and he's a fabulous man, fabulous leader. The town is incredible. There's ta- residents of ten thousand. It's like actually a lot like Sam Marcus was when I went to school there. Right. Uh, the university is a little bit larger than the town, and that's what uh, it is in commerce. Ten thousand residents, twelve thousand students. Um, you know, it's but it's. Uh, I, I have enjoyed every minute of it. I uh, tank of gas may last you three weeks. You know, it's five <laughs> five minutes to the office. Yeah. You know, and home, so you can actually run home and and have lunch at, at the house if you want to. And uh, and Colby Carthel did a fabulous job there. Yeah. You know, and he's left us a lot of talent. And uh, I actually called him when I got the job. I've known Colby and his dad for a long time. And when he got the job, I had to call him. I said, "Hey, could you just won one nine one year? You had to win <laughs> ten games in a national championship." Well, and that's what's what's that's what's so interesting about this job is you know we we know Tim McMurray as well. They're the athletic director, and and it is very clear that they are committed to winning and they're committed to putting a good product and giving you know giving you what you need to succeed, and, and that's got to be comforting. Well, it is, and you know and that's you know what's amazing. Uh, we just ordered 120 new. Football helmets, the the Vice's helmets. We're putting down new turf. Uh, we're building a, a brand new locker room. Yeah. And it's things that, that were needed that were were in motion before I got there. And but they're, they're, it, the, all three of those things are happening right now. Yeah. So it's been a, a great time taking it over. And Tim and I had worked together when I was the head coach at Texas State, mm-hmm. and he was my young liaison to the athletic director. So there's a lot of familiarity there. And, you know, and you get to where. You're going to work for people you like, and you're going to work for people that are high energy, and you're going to work for people that uh, our vision was very shared on what, what, what needs to continue to happen there. Uh, because Colby did. He brought that town, really the town, back to, to life. You know, and they, they expect now, you know, they'll stop you in the supermarket and say, you going to win us a national championship, <laughs> Coach. So the expectations are quite high there. And, you know, that's funny. That's what the kids you know, you want high expectations. Yeah, and, you don't. Uh, you don't want to, have to convince them to win no. a title. Yeah, this first job I've ever taken as a head coach. It's not a rebuilding yeah. situation. This is one where the expectation is you better win ten, yeah. and okay. that's what the players expect, and the, the university, and the town. Absolutely, it is. Um, you know, I'm I'm interested. You know, pr- your previous job at, at, at Rice, you've you've bounced around at, at, at you know at the FBS level. Now you're, you're at Division Two. Uh, for you, the biggest the biggest difference, the biggest uh, adjustment for you is the the scholarship management. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've we've got thirty six scholarships that we can divide however we want, uh, and just tracking those numbers to make sure you you average to thirty six. You know that's been quite an adjustment because yeah. it was really easy at Division One yeah. or even at Texas State. You just everybody was on a full scholarship. Yeah. You know, and here you factor in. Uh, there's a lot of different factors on how much what an aid package you could put together. Um, and, and that's when I took the job. I said, y'all are going to have to really help me. I have no background in, in, in doing this. So I've spent a lot of time with the financial aid people and their coaches have it, explaining to me, you know. So it's it's becoming more of a lifestyle I understand now. That I, But when I got there, that was completely foreign. Yeah, it's 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 a brave new world. But, you know, you mentioned you're, you're taking over a program that, that that's ready to win right now. I'm I'm interested when, when you addressed your team, you know, as a head coach for the first time. What was, what was your message to them? Just that, that Colby's left us a good blueprint. Good blueprint. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to follow that blueprint. Uh, there's going to be some changes because I'm, I'm not Colby. But uh, we need to keep our winning ways. And we need to keep making this game fun. And, uh, you know, I think that has been a pretty smooth transition with the players, mm-hmm. uh, too. I think they had already bought into Colby, and they, they want to win. And, and, you know, it's just players, and this is just human nature, uh, who's ever going to feed them and hug them? 
you know, they're, they're going to, it's no different if a, if a dog walks in your backyard and you open that glass door and it runs off, but it's back the next morning, you leave it a saucer of milk and it drinks it, <laughs> and, and you open the door and it runs, and day three it doesn't run anymore. You know, these are my kids now. These, this is a team I'm responsible for. And, uh, and they know it, you know. I'm gonna, we're going to work hard. We're going to treat them like, like family and try to win a bunch of football games and try to get them graduated along the way. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're really excited. And, and I'm, you know, you're, 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 the new, you're one of the new faces in the Lone Star Conference. Uh, when you take a look at this conference uh, and what you're going to be facing this year, uh, I'm, I'm interested in how you kind of see the, the conference right now. It seems like it's really balanced, and it seems like, it seems like there's just a lot of good coaches out there. Well, you know, it does, and I, you know, Witten's done a fabulous job yeah. uh, at Tarleton. You just you look at, at Midwestern and Tarleton, and you know, I know A and M uh, Kingsville's on the rise, and same at, at Eastern. It looks like there's more parity than people mm-hmm. really realize, even watching the film. I think Permian Basin's even doing a nice job of improving every year. Uh, you know, I, got, I played the Lone Star Conference back at Southwest Texas, so so I'm back in it. And I, you don't have an old old yeah. conference ring from. When we won the conference, when I was a player for the Lone Star Conference, my my mom was a was a Southwest Texas strutter, and so it's a, when when people say SWT, I love Texas State. We had Jake Spavital on yesterday. Love Texas State, but I, there's something about SWT that always uh, the, the, just those those letters. You know, I'm, well, I don't know why they changed, but <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's hard <laughs> when they change. This one where, of course, what 50 years ago, Southwest Normal School, or right? Something, you know, so. In, a, in another 10 years, nobody even remembered it as Southwest <laughs> Texas. And that's where the, the president there at Texas State got me because she said, you cannot call this Southwest <laughs> Texas. you got to call it Texas State. you got to rewire and your the brain. The first time I said, uh, you know, I'm the new head coach at Texas State. It's located just southwest of Austin. You know, I, I, heard, <laughs> I heard you cut that nonsense out. He is David Bailiff, and he's going to do one more thing for us. He's going to spin the Dick Sporting Goods Wheel of Questions. There's nothing on here that's going to get you in trouble. Don't worry. Just spin it. Just give it a spin. Whatever it lands Any on, we'll ask the question. Well, we're going we're to find out what question we're going to ask you. Oh, David Bailiff, what is your spirit animal? Uh, obviously, it's a lion. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just here. I'm going to toss this up, and you just swing. Just uh, teed it up for you. That's it's perfect. It's completely teed it's gotta up. It's got to be a lion. Coach, we are so thrilled to, to have you to have you back in the, in the mix. We're, we're, we're really excited to, to see your commerce lines this year, and we're, we're we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. It's going to be fun. Come see us anytime you want. Let's Love to have you. Absolutely. How about no Dave over here still going? 94. Uh, can you believe that? Unbelievable. He's, just, he's just, a machine. Yeah. Just talking and signing, communicating, making sure everything's spelled perfectly. you got to love him. That's a great guy. Thanks for what you do. Appreciate Thank you.